If I feel brave enough, I will pick this one up. Hello besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today we are going to talk about obviously the October releases. This spooky season is upon us. This is the most thrilling time of the year for me and I'm super excited to talk about the new releases, the books that are going to release in the month of October. We have a mix of paranormal, thrillers, mystery, gothic vibes, everything good basically so let's jump right into it everything that i will mention in this video will be linked down below and the first book is called strange beasts by susan j morris this is an adult gothic historical fiction mystery this is pitched as a fresh yet familiar gothic tale part historical fantasy part puzzle box style mystery in a grim combination between Sherlock Holmes and Dracula. People who received the arc said that this is a dark and atmospheric Victorian fantasy world with monster hunting and underground secret societies and they loved it. This is up there on my TBR this fall. I mean, just look at the cover. It's giving all the vibes. I want to read this as soon as possible and this is going to release on October 15th. The next book is one of my most anticipated releases of the year by Karen Marie Moaning. It is called The House at Watch Hill. This is an adult gothic paranormal fantasy mystery with vampires. And it is the new installment in a series called Watch Hill. It is going to be a trilogy. People who were lucky enough to receive the arc said that this is a mix between Discovery of Witches, True Blood, and Hunting of Hill House. I mean, if this does not make you want to pick up this book right when it releases, I don't know what is. In this book, we have major, major gothic vibes in a secluded mansion in a town that not everyone can see or reach without being invited or without having enough power to be accepted by its residents. And Zoe Gray, our 24-year-old protagonist, inherits this mansion with only one condition. She will become the owner of this big mansion and also inherit all the money left by her distant relative with only one condition. She has to live in the mansion alone for three years. I am super intrigued. I am super excited about this release. And this is going to release on October 1st. The next book is The Book of Witching. This is an adult historical fiction mystery with witches. And I have talked to you about this book in my special edition books. The last episode, episode 20, we have a beautiful horrorscape special edition of this book. This is about a mother who must fight for her daughter's life in a fierce and haunting tale of witchcraft. Clem is the name of the mother and she gets a call from the hospital saying that her daughter is unconscious. Her 19 year old daughter, her name is Erin after being on an accident in a hiking trip with her friends, leaving her boyfriend dead and her best friend missing. And when Erin wakes up, she doesn't recognize her mother and she does not answer to her name and she insists that she is someone named Nix. People who received the arc said that the writing was so atmospheric and the story felt so real. We also have a dual timeline. And the reviews are overall very, very positive. I really want to give this a go too. This is going to release on October 8th. The next book is a YA fantasy. It is called Until We Shatter by Kate Dillon. It is pitched as an action-packed epic heist fantasy, perfect for fans of Six of Crows and Darker Shades of Magic. This is perfect for me, to be honest. I'm super excited about this release. If it delivers the pitch. People who received the arc said that this has a unique magic system with an endearing friendship and a mystery to uncover and a lot of plot twists. This is going to release on October 17th. The next book has a beautiful cover too. It is called How to Summon a Fairy Godmother. This is an adult fantasy cozy mystery retelling, a fun spin-off on Cinderella where the stepsisters and the mother weren't evil at all. And Cinderella, after she got married to the prince, she basically ruined their reputation and also their family estate is on the verge of bankruptcy. Our FMC Theodosia is trying to help her family by summoning a fairy godmother who supposedly helped Cinderella marry the prince and she has familiars, a flirty human turned mockingbird and she also has an aloof fox shifter. 
People who received the ARC said that this was so hilarious and funny and I could not wait to read this. I added it directly to my TBR and this cover is super, super pretty. This is going to release on October 8th. The next book is called The Scholar and the Last Fairy Door. This is an adult historical fiction with Faye. This is pitched as a mythic magical tale full of secret scholarship, fairy curses and the deadliest spell of all, the ones that friends cast on each other. This book is set in a magical school in the 1920s where we coexist with fairies, we have cunning Faye, intriguing magic, found family and high stakes. This got me when it mentioned the fairies and the magical school setting, to be honest. I am adding this to my TBR too. A lot of the books that I'm going to talk about today, I am adding them to my TBR, to be honest. A lot of great, great releases this year. And this is going to release on October 22nd. The next book is an anticipated release to a lot of people, but for me, I still haven't read the first series by this author yet, so I don't want to read this duology before I read the original series, which is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here. This is called Air. This is the first book in a duology, and it is a spin-off uh, of the series, the original one, An Ember in the Ashes. It is a YA fantasy romance. This is pitched as an action-packed and ruthless new romantic fantasy about love, legacy, and vengeance. About an orphan, an outcast, a prince, and a killer who decide to bring the kingdom to its knees. I think we are going to have a found family between these characters, and it is multi-POV, and the art readers are very happy with the book, but at the same time, I really want to start reading the first series, um, like read it and finish it before reading this one, because I think I will be missing out on a lot of nods. And also I will be in general missing out on a great series because a lot of people love it. And I know a lot of you love it too. So I need to read it. This is going to release on October 1st. The next book is one of my most anticipated releases of the year too. It is by Stephanie Garber, Spectacular. This is a holiday novella, an illustrated holiday novella that follows the characters, our beloved characters of the Caraval trilogy. When I tell you, I am over the moon to meet these characters again and like to be in this world again, I cannot express how happy I am to meet all my beloved characters again. And also, I really, really hope to see Jax, maybe Jax and Evangeline. I don't know if they are going to make an appearance. I really, really hope at least Jax. Um, so yeah, this is going to release on October 22nd. Next up, we have book three in the X-Hex series. It is called The Wedding Witch. This is a paranormal romance and the first book Everyone knows about the first book, The X-Hex. It took the internet by storm when that book released. Uh, this is the third book in the series, featuring one of the Penn Hallow brothers. We have a haunted house theme and also time traveling to the past to hopefully rewrite the future and save lives. This is supposed to be extremely entertaining, magical, and we have high chemistry between the main characters. This is going to release on October 15th. The next book is another adult paranormal romance. This is a debut novel by Nadia El Fassi. I have talked to you about this book before and these special edition books. It is called The Best Hex Ever. This is a sweet and spicy paranormal romance about a kitchen witch who loves baking, but she unfortunately has a cursed love life, literally cursed, until she meets someone that she thinks is worth breaking the hex for. We have wedding planning shenanigans in a gothic medieval, maybe haunted castle. I mean, the setting alone makes me so excited to pick up this book. And a romance between our kitchen witch, Diana, who is the maid of honor, Honor, and the best man Scott. People who got the arc said that this is a cozy spicy fantasy, so whimsical and hilarious. We also have forced proximity and only one cottage. I cannot wait to pick up this book. This is going to release on October 1st. The next book is a psychological thriller by Frida McFadden. It is called The Boyfriend. The story is centered around Sydney. She's in her mid-30s. She's living in New York and trying to navigate online dating. 
and she ends up meeting someone who seems everything she wanted in a relationship. He's charming, he's a gentleman, and he's a physician, and he seemed like the perfect guy. The two begin to date, and then the brutal murder of a woman is announced all over the news, and it is the latest murder and a string of deaths across the coast, and the primary suspect is a mystery man who dates his victims before he kills them. 100% going to pick this up. Uh, I love that Frida McFadden books. They are not the best when it comes to like a tight plot, but they are so addictive and entertaining and I love reading her books. It is going to release on October 1st. The next book is a horror mystery thriller by Kelly Armstrong. It is called I'll Be Waiting. First of all, the cover is giving all the vibes. Is that like a Ouija board thingy? I don't know what it is called. This looks scary, to be honest. A bit like scary and intriguing at the same time. To be honest, I'm thinking about picking this book up. I'm not sure if I have the courage, but maybe, maybe I will try out this book if it's not too, too scary. I know that it is a bit spooky, but spooky and scary are not the same thing. If you know what I mean, <laughs> for me at least. This is from the people who read the ARC. This is said to be atmospheric, spooky, and creepy. I don't know. Maybe I'll pick it up because I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. The cover is so beautiful and also like I'm curious to see what the story is about. In this book, we are following a woman named Nicola. After she's been happily married for a short period of time, her husband dies in a car accident. She was with him in the car. Her husband's name is Anton. And exactly before he died, he utters the sentence, I will be waiting for you to his wife. People who read the arc said that it is creepy. Some of them said that it is scary, that it is a fast read with ghosts and supernatural vibes in a haunted house where they perform seances. This is going to release on October 1st. Maybe. If I feel brave enough, I will pick this one up. Next up is also one of my most anticipated releases of the year. It is book two in the Prince of Sin series by Carrie Maniscalco, the first book being Throne of the Fallen. And this book is called Throne of Secrets. This is about two rivals that are torn apart by a dark memory and that are reunited on a deadly hunt. In the first book, we followed Prince of Envy. In this book, we are following Prince of Gluttony, Gabriel, who is determined to save his kingdom. And I refuse to read the synopsis for this book, so this is all that I have to say about this one. This is going to release on October 29th, and I'm going to read it as soon as possible because I loved, I loved Throne of the Fallen. The next book is the newest release by Megan Quinn. It is How My Neighbors Stole Christmas. This is a new winter holiday, a funny and spicy enemies to lovers romance. This book is basically how the Grinch stole Christmas meets a spicy romance book. And of course, it is going to be perfect for the holiday season. This is going to release on October 15th. And that was the last book in this video. If you made it this far, leave me any spooky emoji of your choice. And if you enjoyed this video, please watch one of these videos. That would help me out a lot. And also, so don't forget to subscribe and join the amazing community of book besties here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!